Karma's Markers Market showcases wonderful handmade artisanal designs from fashion to art to jewellery and more. Take a look at this. What started off in 2003 as a shared dream between a few close friends in Stellenbosch has evolved into SA's biggest pop-up phenomenon. Commerce Makers is a place where creative entrepreneurs and artisans come together for inspiration, support, and most importantly, a place to present their talents to a discerning market. 16 years later, this national treasure enjoys more than 60,000 visitors across five spectacular national locations. The first of two annual Johannesburg events took place in April and saw 180 makers filling the rooms of St. David's Marist Inanda in Sanson. When Karma started in 2003, the product offering was very handmade. So today you really do see um, international standard design and craft. And craft, of course, have uh, it's become more uh, desirable, it's become sexier, it's not that Taispedraf uh, that it used to be. Curating the show is quite a difficult one because there is so much talent around. We do just look for very fresh, very new um, products. And every year we think, oh my word, we're not going to get anything new. And then people just are amazing. South Africa is amazing in terms of creativity, really. The incredible selection of makers features some stalwarts that have grown with the event, as well as many new artisan entrepreneurs showcasing their products. Visitors were privy to the most innovative in homeware, fashion, decor, beauty products, food, wine, and the allure of the atmospheric venue. Each product on offer comes with a personal journey and backstory that adds to its uniqueness. Land of Lark started off uh, with a bit of an educational teacher background from my side and then along with my sister-in-law who's an illustrator and an industrial designer and it was combining our two brains, our two expertises together to create beautiful products for growing families. So right now we're seeing a lot of the Scandi trend in nursery decor. So that's why we brought in um, a lot of neutrals. That's why we've kept to a neutral palette. Um, that can also translate itself into an adult space as well. So mums and kids are both uh, reaping the benefit of having that neutral, the neutrals. It is beautiful and practical. Those are the two things that we focus on. From minimalist Scandinavian kids decor to minimalist retro-inspired homeware, Bruce and Kimlin Harbottle of Man and Wife design with a very personal approach. A lot of our products come from the fact that we need a product in our house and we see, therefore we see a use for it, so we design it to fit into our house and our space. I have a flair for modern Scandinavian design, so that's kind of the take that we, we have with our designs. Um, so it's a bit more modern rather than classic and it's just a bit more retro, so softer edges, a bit more inviting um, for any type of home really. Who said Sishwesho fabric should only be used for clothing? After experimenting with her sewing machine, ad executive turned designer Tandi Dowery discovered her talent for making rope jewelry using this unique African print. Um, I absolutely am in love with the fabrics, but um, I, do, I knew for myself that I need something that's a little bit more toned down if I'm going to wear that. I try and keep the designs as minimalist as possible, and then I'll like incorporate other materials like t-shirt yarn, or like maybe a couple of metallics, like maybe beads, or uh, metallic uh, threads, sometimes wire. So we cover a very a, a wide spectrum, but the, the most important, of course, is Karma's is 100% South African, uh, local, produced, handmade, and um, original. It has to be original, it has to be fresh and new, and I really think that Karma's um, we, we do lead in the marketplace. I think, uh, I think I can say that. <laughs> Alan Mass is a joint venture between myself and my sister-in-law. I come from an interior design background and she is a full-time illustrator. So we decided to combine our skills together and combine a home textile range which celebrates South Africa's beautiful flora and fauna. It can fit in quite a variety of interiors and um, very much an eclectic home as well as quite a sort of a bush styled home with lots of cane and rattan and jute with lots of textures. 
Some makers travel far and wide to put their products on show. Abbas Ma'azu traveled all the way from Gugule to outside Cape Town, where he and his business partner create bags that celebrate the vibrancy of African design. Oh, well, we decided to go on Funky to play around with our African fabric because African fabric is unique. You know, it's colorful and colorful is boldness and boldness is beauty, beautiful is confidence. We decided to do all collective African prints, both South Africa, Ghana, Nigeria, Kenya, Malawi, Zambia. Wherever we see a print that is beautiful, that represents Africa, we use it to do a beautiful stuff. This is a project that we started a couple of years ago um, where we're trying to sort of really uncover the essence of our cities through its buildings. So the name Ness comes from how can we, or what is the Johannesburgness of Johannesburg or the Cape Townness of Cape Town. And so what you see here are um, all limited edition archival prints of iconic buildings around the country. We've got a set of Johannesburg, Cape Town, Pretoria and Durban buildings. Um, and the whole project is really how can we draw on people's personal connections with their cities and in the buildings that define them and in a way that people can really embrace what they love about their, um, the architecture and the cities that they live in in a very tangible, unique and creative way. For visitors who found themselves parched from hours of browsing and shopping, Commerce has partnered with Console Glass to make their events increasingly more sustainable. All visitors received a free console glass bottle to refill at water stations around the shows. There was also a wide variety of mouth-watering food and drinks on offer, with tables and comfortable seating, allowing some time to take in the beauty of the venue and the autumn trees. So Commerce has been an amazing platform for us as a brand new brand. Um, they kind of gave us an identity before we even knew what our identity was. So we had all these millions of ideas and we knew the kinds of things we wanted to create. But from our first Karma's last year in Irene, it's literally just gone mad and exploded since then. I am so proud of Karma's. It really is this wonderful platform where you see people being able to do their own thing, explore their own creativity and, and make a living. It's amazing. Be sure to pencil in your date with Karma's Makers as they'll be back in Johannesburg for their spring event taking place from the 28th of August till the 1st of September at St. John's College in Houghton. For more information on upcoming shows close to you, visit commerce.co.za.